Welcome back, Indiana Sports Beat Radio on this Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and uh, going to get off to a better start to the week because it's going to be cooler. So if nothing else, uh, you will be able to get outside. Uh, Dustin DePirick from the Bloomington Herald Times is with us now. Man, it was so hot. Did you do anything last week of outdoors? I did. I I run outside when it's hot. I make a point. Oh, you're not. Oh my I god. Make a point, you're you insane. <laughs> you're absolutely. So wait, so I didn't know you. So you're a runner? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I'm not uh I don't compete as much as I should. Um, but I make a point to run. I ran, you know, I was a bad miler in high school. Uh so I stuck with it and it's kept me uh, you know, served me well over time. But yeah, no, I mean I I try like I when it's really hot like I make a point. Unless it's like 100 and it's like, but it's like, I, I mean, so if you, cause if you, if you get used to it during the heat, then you can do anything, you know? So then like when it cools off, you feel like, you know, all the weights off and you feel great. So I'm looking forward to today. Like when we get, when we get done, as soon as I can get Maxine to chill out, I'm going to hit, hit the road and do some running again. But uh, the hottest thing I remember doing in the last several years, and this has probably been eight years ago, at least was I did hot yoga. Mm -hmm. Someone suggested because I was a different something to always I've always trying to do something stay in shape. And so I remember going over and doing that. And I'm thinking, you know, how bad can it be? It's it's yoga for one thing. Right. I had afterwards, you know, how things uh, just get imprinted into your mind. All <laughs> I could think about was high school football and two a days after because there's there's yep. been no time in my life i my body has been this hot and that was at the time i was in the greatest shape of my life i thought yeah. i was gonna die then i thought i was gonna die after hot yoga <laughs> uh an hour and a half in this hundred and whatever it was room uh, not doing anything but holding these poses but i got out of there and i was like I, I stood under a cold shower for like a half hour it was it was brutal it'll get uh, you it'll get but, you Oh yeah. my gosh. And so, yeah. but yeah, but but it's like week, being in a sauna, right? Like that's how it works. Yeah. It's like being in a sauna, but and yeah. you think you're not doing anything because you're holding these poses, but yeah, you get out of there and it's like, Oh, holy crap. Yeah. Uh, it just reminded me of, of that, that heat. And last week that was the heat, man. That's the kind of heat mm -hmm. we had, but you getting out there, man, you're a, you're a madman. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you, just get used to it. you get used to it. So I did some running last week and yeah, it'll be, it'll be easier this week. So uh, I'm only going to do so much this week because we got media day starting tomorrow, man. Well, and uh, which starting tomorrow. big yep. 10 football media day start tomorrow. Luckily for mm -hmm. us at Lucas oil stadium in Indianapolis, which that is where it, I hope it is always held there from now on. And I, it we won't all, be, and you know it. Uh, <laughs> I know. I, and guess where the next place it's going. I will guarantee them to you. Probably I wouldn't be in Minnesota. Exactly yeah. where Mr. Kevin yeah. Warren is was from. Mm -hmm. uh, where he came from last. I, I, I I'm we're, not we're spent a lot of time in Minneapolis, Minneapolis in the not too. Not time. I'm not happy about the basketball tournament being up there. Me neither. That, it's just Me dumb. Neither. It is ax ridiculous. But yeah. oh, well. I mean, it's gonna be fun once we get there. But you know, yeah, there, but, it's gonna be a pain. Yeah, added was a it? lot too. It's it's is, been very. It was very nice this year just to be able to fall out of bed and go to the Big Ten tournament. That was nice. Oh my gosh, it's great. gonna be. Yeah, but not only that, it's it's there for a reason. I mean, these places, Indianapolis, is built to do this. It is. Um, yeah, it's, it's the built perfectly. the Big Ten football media days was awesome last year. It'll be awesome this year. We'll be there live tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. But speaking of football, you were part of a. Uh, a poll the media, recently the unofficial official media poll uh yeah and, and i prefer a, this one uh, we don't have a real one anymore uh, really what happened to I mean, that they, they might pick a few of them they don't pick them the distance you know the um used to you know it used to be that everybody did a full poll uh but the big 10 hasn't done a full poll in years so football and for football and basketball both reporters have uh decided in both cases to run a poll you know run a poll basically and our man nathan baird of cleveland.com does it Cle uh, nathan used to cover uh purdue at the lafayette journal and courier um good good friend of the depirac slate good friends of the depirac slaves we were at their wedding they were they were at ours he and his wife um and anyway so they put it together um Ohio State, not surprisingly, is your overwhelming favorite. Uh, let me see here if I can let me pull this up. 
Uh, I think they were unanimous choice to win the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, every vote in the East. Um, and yeah, uh, 30. Yeah. Ohio State was unanimous pick to win the league. Um, Wisconsin picked to win the West. Uh, and I think got 31 of the available 35 uh, votes to win the West. But uh, there's Indiana, not a shocker. Indiana there's not a shocker. Last. Yeah. There's so. not a, on the West side. There's mm. not a surprise there to me at all, to be honest with you. Um, mm. I, I, I think that Purdue at number four, maybe because I don't know what they I don't know what they have. I mean, Aiden uh, O'Connell just having just having a legit quarterback. Finally, I mean, obviously, yeah, that a makes lot a of difference controversy over there. O'Connell is, is returns with big numbers. Obviously, you lose David Bell, which is a big deal. I think he lost Milton Wright too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I think there's some depth depth over there at wide receiver. Um, I, the West is chalk. Practice, which is a that's big chalk deal. to me. The West is chalk. I said yeah. the West is chalk. To me. You've got mm. Northwestern at the bottom, which. That's easy to do. Illinois next to the bottom, which I got to be careful with them. They, they may be slippery with Nebraska, with Nebraska, even though Nebraska should be better again. But yeah, uh, Belima's working hard, man. Belima's working hard to get Illinois. Yeah. Uh, so, mm-hmm. and, and we'll talk about them more. But yeah, yeah sure. uh, and of course, Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota picked first, second, third makes sense. Uh, in the East Division, of course, you mentioned Ohio State. Then they've got Michigan pretty substantially in front of Penn State. Uh, that seems right to me, though. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I, I think Michigan, obviously Michigan coming off the playoff run. I mean, obviously they lost a couple pieces, but they still bring back Blake Corum. You know, they still have quarterbacks. They still have receivers. Um, now they, they obviously lose the ends, and that's a big deal, um, you know, certainly with those two guys being gone. But Maybe the bigger surprise is Michigan State still being down at fourth. Which is all that they've done and added and keep bringing uh, that they haven't third. caught Penn State. I, I was going to say I, 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 I picked them third, um, and because I mean, obviously Penn State still got some dudes. Obviously, like Clifford comes back for his I don't know tenth year. Um, uh, you know, Joey Porter Jr. obviously is a terrific player on the corner, um, but they lost Jahan Dots, and I think that's a big deal. You know, they still bring back Parker Washington. I think he's really important. Um, but uh, you know, I, I mean, Michigan State still has a lot. I mean, obviously. Walker was a big deal. I mean, like, you know, he was far and away their best player. He really brought them into, um, you know, just did, did a lot individually. So I, I imagine that's why is, is sort of you, you look at, okay, who, who's a bigger individual loss, uh, you know, Parker or um, Kenneth, uh, Kenneth Walker or Jahan Dotson, and you would say Kenneth Walker. So, I mean, that's maybe a reason to drag Michigan State a little bit down below Penn State. But I still, um, I, mean, I think Michigan State handled them last year, too. Um, so I think I, I, I put Michigan state higher. I think they, they still have a lot of good pieces. They still have Jaden Reed. Um, I'm blanking on the quarterback, but, but all the same, I, I, I took Michigan state over Penn state by a bit, but, but and, and Michigan but state I, I only got like seven points. I mean, basically, you know, it, it seems like everybody kind of was kind of coin flip between Michigan state and Penn state, but I'm not surprised everybody picked Michigan second. But if I'm Michigan State, I'm saying, hey, you better make a move. You're you're making nine and a half million dollars a year, bro. Uh, oh, yeah. It's time. It's time to move up out of that bottom four. That's that's not why. Oh, they already did. I mean, it, it, again, they, they they made the move. You know, they made the move, and obviously, they're going to have to sit there. But it, I mean, obviously, over the next five years or something like that, Michigan State has to be a part. Like, I mean, I think they're going to change with divisions anyway. Obviously, you're going to add USC and UCLA to this mix, and you don't even know what the divisional setup is going to be. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, to, to maintain that salary to, to not be, for them not to move on, obviously he's got to keep Michigan state as a top five, top six, uh, program in the big 10 as a whole. Then you look over at the East, of course, and, uh, we already know the, uh, the top four Indiana picked at the bottom, partly because they were the worst team in the league last year at two and 10. And that has and a then, lot to do with it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but and then but you add to the fact that nobody knows what they've been able to do other than add names. We know that they've added Carter Bazalak, but we right. don't know what that has done. It's Bazalak, by the way. Bazalak. I keep adding dad, that R in there. That uh, corrected me on this, but very important. Bazalak. And I think it's yeah. one. I think it's two syllables too. So, so we're gonna get that right. I've been getting it wrong the whole time. I've been saying Bazalak. It's Bazalak. Bay, so. Bay, like Bay, like Bay. Uh, what was that sh- that show? Bay, Bay something. I can't remember. Uh, all the all the girls run running around. 
Yeah, I don't know. There was Bays. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but Bays like, and obviously, I think he's going to be the starting quarterback. Uh, right. That's simply based on a guess. Uh, but we don't know what he has receiver wise, other than in name. We don't know what the offensive line is going to do, other than what we saw them do last year, which was horrible, and that they've added nothing to that. So there's no reason to think that they're going to be better. Sean Shivers, of course, been added to the backfield, but they also lost backfield. So Stephen Carr, yeah, uh, Windexter. It's everybody just else was part of that room at the beginning of the year. Yeah. What uh, does Tom no. Allen? What does Tom Allen say at, at, at media days tomorrow when? Well, we were two and ten last year, and uh, we have not not let anybody see anything this year. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you anything. Oh, they, he's they, they, also, I mean, it, it, in fairness, for as much as we're talking about what we didn't get to see in the spring, I mean, we're oh yeah, they watched. Boy, oh, hey, we were, it didn't didn't take them long at all to get that one out. It didn't take them long at all to get that one out, baby. They were right on that. Robert, um, Robert P and Jim B and Jim B. Yeah. Where are you from, by the way? <laughs> anyway, as it were, um, I think. Uh, I, I mean, they, we obviously got sort of talking availability in the spring as much as we didn't get sight visuals uh, to actually see what we were, we were looking at. We did hear a lot about um, about the guys and what they liked. I mean, as, as far as, you know, we, 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 we talked to all the assistants. We got basically everybody's read on their own room. Um, so it's not like they were they were completely putting it behind. Um, and everything operated behind closed doors, but I mean, they were willing to say, Hey, I really like what this guy's doing. We really like what we're getting out of camp camper. We really like what we're getting out of Miles Jackson. Um, you know, we really like how about those guys. Jennifer's like, she, she, he will say L E O L E O L E O, which he will, but no, I mean, I, in, in as much as again, on, on some level, they're not transparent at all, but on some level they are. I mean, I think Tom Allen has been very, um, very honest about, you know, uh, uh, what he felt went wrong. And what he's tried to fix. And again, we haven't seen it. And I think he was pretty clear, though, also on why we haven't seen it. He said, you know, look, uh, we got two new coordinators. I don't want to create any film for, me, for anybody. Um, you know, I just don't want anybody to see it. I, I, I want to be able to do this behind closed doors. Um, I don't want anybody to have our plays when we show up on, on opening day. It's not worth it. Uh, you know, we don't Especially expect... when they start with a Big Ten opponent. They start with a Big Ten uh, opponent right out of the game. Is... Like, I don't, you know. They and start if, with a Big Ten opponent who will have already played a game. game. Yeah, if they're going to win any games, they got to beat Illinois. So it's just, oh, you know, absolutely. They, they might as well have you know uh, uh, some level of element of surprise there. Um, but they've been at least been willing to say, okay, you know. So so I think he's got a lot of questions to answer because I think it's like, you know, if 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 you're out of town media and you're like Tom, who's even on your team? <laughs> Who are your guys? You know, who's going to play for you? Um, you know, I think that's an interesting question, and obviously has a lot of space to talk about that. I've got questions for him. I got plenty. Um, you know, to ask about, I mean, we, we got, you know, again, in fairness, he gave a lot of questions. Um, he, he answered a lot of our questions when it came to May. I mean, I think you, you got a one-on-one -on -one with him. We got, uh, a, a two-on-one -on with him. Zach and I got to sit with him, um, and talk about, again, just do a full, you know, uh, autopsy and the whole bit and, and talk about what went wrong and, and what he tried to fix in the spring. Um, you know, I mean, in, in, so it, in fairness to Tom Allen, for as much as he has shut this thing down. Um, when you, when you ask him specific questions, uh, and, and I mean, he's generally pretty honest. And so I don't think, uh, he's not going to have nothing to say. Uh, he's, he, there, there is going to be, um, you know, at least for those that are interested in talking to a, a guy who is the coach of a two, you know, a two and 10 program, uh, he'll be interested. So yeah, all the secrecy if they get handed the butt to him by Illinois for nothing. Yes. But there also wasn't that much to be gained. Um, you know, I, mean, I guess there was some level of fan excitement, but you would lose all that fan excitement anyway if you got beat. I by agree. Illinois. So I agree. Wh wh whatever, wh whatever there is, if they get their butts handed to them by Illinois, whether they opened it up or they didn't open it up, it wouldn't make a difference. They're, you know, fans are still going to be angry, um, and so there, there, there wasn't much to be gained. Um, I guess. I mean, there's, there's something to be gained when you already have some momentum, when everybody's happy to see you, and everybody wants to know what's there. Uh, this fan base is disappointed, bothered, annoyed. They weren't going to show up for a spring game. Let's be serious. You know, there have been like 300 people there. Uh, something like uh, that. You're being, you're being, you're being generous. I I'm think. Being generous. I'm presuming that a whole lot of people didn't have a lot else to do on a spring weekend in Bloomington. Um, but no, I, I don't think they would have drawn well. And so it was just as well for them that they had a full practice, uh, that they didn't have to pull any punches on. They didn't put anything on film and they didn't have to subject their players to seeing that, that everybody had jumped off the bandwagon. I mean, I think that's something in itself is just, um, you know, what, what, what little you draw, but also the fans, you know, the, the players being shown, 
this is how much everybody lost faith. Um, and so did they really need that at the end of spring? I don't think so. You know, so I get it. It's annoying for me because that's one less story I got to write and, and, and a little bit less uh, expertise I got to carry into the summer. Um, you know, so it wasn't fun for us. Um, but all the same, you know, I, I, I get why, you know, like what, 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 how much was there to be gained by having a spring game this year? Well, Illinois, uh, I'll, uh, it, to me, is a must win game. It is just absolutely right a must date. win right off the bat. And it's a team that will have already having have played a game. A eh? yeah. um, Cincinnati is basically a must win game because you don't have opportunities to get wins else elsewhere. Uh, you, you've, and you've put yourself in that position by being on the road against a team that finished in the top four last year um, mm-hmm. as a non-con game, which that's going to be team, obviously, but. but they have a chance there. They should have won that game last year, which of course we can go back and forth on that, but uh, it's not going to get any easier. You're adding mm-hmm. USC and UCLA. So it's not going to get easier. So you have nope. got to elevate the, the, they have got to elevate the program now and, or, or then, there's going to be issues that we'll talk about later, but what's up next for you? That getting into football this week, man. Um, yeah, no, I mean, here we go. Uh, you'll be at, uh, of course you'll be at Lucas oil tomorrow. I'm assuming. Yeah. Be at Lucas oil tomorrow. Be at Luke. Uh, I don't know if I'll be at Lucas oil on Wednesday too. I might as well. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no. So, so next, obviously just, just getting the, uh, you know, football process started, basically just diving into some off season projects I've had, um, you know, putting those on, on print. Uh, so yeah, no, that's, that's the deal. Basically it's just starting with beginning our football coverage and delving into some features, getting ready for camp next week, you know, uh, should be a fun time. And we'll get to actually know about these guys. Absolutely. Make sure you give him a follow Dustin DePiric, uh, follow him on Twitter and at the Bloomington Herald times, be a subscriber. If not, I am. Uh, you got to keep local papers alive, baby. Yes, you do. Dustin, Dustin Perrick, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow, by the way. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Jim. See you up here.